Well, you're standing on your bed here. Uh-oh. Oh. That's the bed? <laughs> uh, we don't have a standing army and navy in my time, so this is the real deal right here. Now, <laughs> now why yeah, is it yeah. Sometimes what you need is a family real vlog on the screen. So sit back, relax, and tell a friend, I'm, I'm watching, watching family, family for real! real. What's up guys? It's finally starting to get nice today. We might actually be able to get to go out on the beach or at least enjoy the pool later today. But right now we're gonna go to Roanoke Island and there's a whole bunch of like interesting things we're gonna see from like colonial time periods. I believe there's a pirate ship there. Um, some of the pictures look like the kids will have a blast. So that's where we're going now. It's a little bit humid, but it looks like most of the rains stayed away. And when we come back this afternoon, hopefully it'll be nice and sunny. You want to go see a real pirate ship, bro? It's stuck in your hair? <laughs> All right, good to your pirate impression. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Right now we are visiting Roanoke, what's it called? Roanoke Island Festival Park. And what it is, they actually have an old replica pirate ship that we're gonna explore, and they actually have an old settlement uh, from what it was like way back in the day. And so the kids are gonna have a great time. They're already swinging their pirate swords. Hopefully they don't break anything. Standing on your bed here. Uh oh. oh that's the bed? That's your bed. Yeah. Wow, they just slept on the floor? But you get rained on once in a while, so you're cleaner. Not a sailor on here facing this way. Two right here. All right. I want to say an interesting word of vast that means stop. Okay, so what's the word stop? Can you say a vast? Vast. A vast. Kaliana, look at all the cups and bowls that they ate on. Can you imagine? They're all wooden. Wooden cups, wooden bowls. Would you like to eat out of wooden bowls and wooden cups all day? So they got one gallon of beer every day to drink because the lack of fresh water, there was really wasn't any. How about that? It was brewed. We can't go up without You say hi? Okay, hang on. But there wasn't much alcohol in it, so it wasn't as bad. But the food situation, it's very scary. Definitely not what we're used to. And this is the captain's room. So this is the luxury suite, boys. Take a look at it. That's the captain's room. This wow. is the captain's room. They get like the best <laughs> <laughs> And it's about as big as your closet. Kaliana is using what's called a bilge pump. This is what pumps the water out of the bottom of the ship. Keep it from sinking. What do you think, Kaliana? Is it a pirate's life for you? <laughs> Whoa! All right, this is the view. So this is just short of a pirate ship. It's not actually a true pirate ship. It's a merchant ship. However, they were giving they were given legal access by the British government to essentially take other people's gold. And that's what made them pirates. A third of it went to the ship's captain, a third of it went to the crew, and a third of it went back to the British government. Captain. Ah! 
<laughs> Ring that dinner bell. What do you think? It's cool history. It really is. So your uh, your life expectancy at 35, you'd be done by now. Especially with five kids, yeah. No, <laughs> five kids. You would have been dead after two, right? Yeah, probably, apparently. And I'd be on to my second wife. <laughs> Would you, do you want to climb up to the crow's nest up there? And look for other pirate ships and look for land? That's what they used to do up there. All the way up there. They would actually climb up these rope ladders up into the crow's nest. What do you think of the pirate ship? I love, I mean I didn't love history as much when I was a kid, but I Me love either. it now. I like it now. I think it's really it's interesting. interesting. What did the baby think of the ship? Huh? She, has like, she likes that it's not as windy either. Yeah. Oh, look at her. There she goes. Come on, you got that? Okay. <laughs> Joy, ready to go to battle? Oh, you that? Oh, yeah. And sure have a. Shoes of peace. Sure have, exactly. Her feet will be shod with peace, young lad. What's the belt of? Belt of uh, righteousness. Sir. Nope. No, right. Belt of, if you don't lie, you're telling the what? Truth. Truth. Belt of truth. Nice. There you go. Now this is a lot heavier oh, than I thought it would be. Put my phone out of my pocket and take my picture. That's only a third of the weight you have there too. Take mommy's picture real quick. <laughs> they tell me you take people's souls with them things. And then you send it up into the sky. It happens. It happens, you know that? And it comes back down and it ends in a book. Of faces. <laughs> have you ever heard of that? <laughs> is there a book of faces? <laughs> they told me the truth? Uh, we don't have a standing army or navy in my time, so this is a real deal right here in your life. <laughs> now, why yeah, do they train with a wooden sword? Why do you think they're training with a wooden sword? Yeah. They got a real sword. If you train mercenary soldiers, young lass, this is an English colony. If I got a Scotsman or Irishman in here practicing with a real sword, we're going to get the spell cut. Uh -uh. <laughs> then they're going to go blip, blip, blip to the ground. So this would have been a blacksmith from the early colonial days showing how this was the first building that they made when they came over here because the blacksmith was the, was the most important to make tools and all the stuff they needed to make the houses. So he's showing how they make nails. Well, and that is the main thing with blacksmithing is patience. A lot, a lot, a lot of patience. Even I myself would require a lot of patience because you have to know how to work with the iron. Now, um, when I heat up my iron, I'm going to be pumping upon my bellows, which is a double chain. Um, of course, do keep in mind that we don't know where to find a single thing once we got here, not for a few hundred years. Back in England, they told me that there's gold and jewels and sugars and spices and everything nice over here, but obviously we were lied to. But there's absolutely nothing here. So once we do arrive in here, we're going to replace all the iron and coal with sand and rocks. We'll take the sand back to England and sell the glass blowers, make glass, give glass to the natives. The Native Americans will give me pearls, so glass for pearls, great trade. Makes the head of the nail. There's one nail. You're very welcome, of course, and it's my pleasure. Now, everyone who has just gathered my. Whoa, Tally, what'd you get? I will keep making nails for every handmade nail. We have here one per household. That's what Neil's looking We're gonna put this in our portfolio. Oh, nice. Can I see it? Now she's going into the Nice. Check that out, guys. It's a handmade nail from a real blacksmith station. Here you go, Brody. You wanna see it? Check out the nail. What do you think of that? Isn't that pretty cool? Tally, you think you can control this bad boy? Yes. Yeah? Is that how you know how to sail already? We're now in the Roanoke Island Museum. This has all kinds of stuff Amanda. about Roanoke Island. She has like Native American stuff, or English settler stuff, all kinds of boating stuff. Speaking of hurricanes, here's all the different hurricanes that hit the Outer Banks. 
in the Roanoke Island area over the years. The last one was Irene in 2011. This one took almost the same track as Irma just took, except Irma went like this. Wow, look at the Outer Banks in 2011. Whoa, Talia, what are you wearing? Something useful, so, yeah. Something what? How do you do? I am uh, leaving now. Is that traditional uh, island wear back in the day? Kaliana, can you raise the sail? Go ahead, pull it, come on. See if you're strong enough. Go ahead, pull. 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 <laughs> Here, should I help? Ready? I don't need help. You don't need help? Okay. I don't think you're pulling the sail up. Ready? Uh, pull, Kelliana, pull! You're doing it! You're doing it! Alright! It's all the way up. This is a model of the pirate ship that we were on earlier. It's pretty cool. So, we just finished up dinner. We decided to come out for dinner tonight. We're gonna go home and try and relax. We stuffed ourselves silly, of course. Alright, we just finished up dinner. And we're outside of the restaurant right now, but I just wanted to vlog this. Watch, check this out, guys. How cool is that? That looks nice. I think there might be some a storm or two off in that direction. And a fish just jumped out there. Comes along the way. That's love. Let it grow stronger every day. There's joy. That's the day. Passing by, there's hope A better life for you and I Take our dreams and fly Together we can try That's life